Good evening, I'm David James. The inaugural Shriners Fest is underway. Large crowds expected over the next few days. And to make sure everyone is safe along the Evansville Riverfront, police are on the lookout for underage drinkers and adults who've had too much to drink. Laurel and Prestige walked along with officers on patrol tonight. She joins us live from the riverfront with the story. David, the party has begun, and this street is only expected to get busier over the next couple days, but officers say this comes with some major safety concerns. Shriners Fest is on, and so is the security. I'm always keeping them right next to me, so nobody walks off with them. For parents, Jamie and Joshua Stacy, their number one focus is on their three kids. Officers' focus, on the other hand, is on everybody. We're just making sure everyone is just having a good time and uh, doing it appropriately. Officers are on patrol, monitoring the crowds on bicycles, four-wheelers, cars, and on foot, in uniform and undercover. You know, anytime you have an event like this, as safe as we try to make it, there's always going to be a criminal element that'll probably show up. Officers are urging the public to lock their cars and to keep valuables out of sight. This festival, there are there are no gates, there are no fences, so those are things we gotta we gotta think about too. That we're a little bigger than just Riverside Drive and the actual riverfront itself. You can bring your own beer into the festival, but officers will not only be watching out for underage drinking, but also over drinking. Conceivably, anything could happen. I mean, you know, you get somebody down here, you get a couple groups that don't like each other, and, uh, you know, a small fight turns into something bigger. And that's why the bike officers are such an asset. Basically, they say a bike officer is the equivalent of two officers on foot. They cover a lot more ground. 30,000 people are expected to be at Shriners Fest over the next couple days. Jamie and Joshua Stacy say they like the extra protection because for them, this is a family event. Very secure. It's the way it should be. Everybody come out and have a good time. That's what it's for. Officers also say they want you to come down and have a good time, but leave behind glass bottles, bikes, and animals. Live in downtown Evansville, Laurel and Prestige, 14 News.